Okay, this video is about um, exponential and log conversions. Okay, these two equations can be converted into one another. So let's just look at this. So common inverse pairs that we have are linear. If you take the inverse of a linear, you usually get a linear equation. Okay, quadratic. If you have an x squared, how do you undo the x squared? You take a square root, right? Well, with an exponential, <clears throat> you take the logarithm. Okay, so it would be the log base x of 2. Okay, so basically that's what we're going to do is learn how to convert between exponential functions and logarithm functions. So look at this diagram here. Don't let all the, let, let all the letters mess you up. Look, I just want you to notice the, dip, the similarities on either side of this double arrow right here. Look at the b right here. b is the base of the log, and over here it's the base of the exponent. Okay. On the left, the k is the answer. Over here, k is the power. Over here, n, it's the log base b of n, and n on the right is the answer. Okay, so kind of keep these in mind. I'm going to show these to you again as we go along. But the big deal is being able to convert one to another. Now, one thing I teach people is to get from the left to the right, you do a swirl. So you go from b to k to n. So it's b to the k power equals n. All right. So this is what I refer to as the swirl. So let's just try this out. So this I just wants you to write it in exponential form. So let's do the swirl. 6 to the 3 gives me 216. And that's all there is to going from the log to the exponent. All right. Number 2, do the swirl. 27 the one-third power, yes, that's possible, is equal to 3. One-third power is the same as the cube root, by the way. Number 3, 5 to the negative 2 power equals 1 half, or 1 25th, sorry, 1 25th. Okay, remember we talked about negative powers makes it a denominator. The 2 makes it the 25, by the way. On 4, oh, look at this. There's no base down here. Guess what? If there's no base, that base is a 10, and it's what we call the common log. Okay, it's a base of 10. That's what we call the common log. So in this one, it's 10 swirled to the negative 1 power. It gives me 1 over 10. Here my base is 3. Swirl it. 3 to the 6 equals x. Here I swirl it. x to the 1 half power equals 8. All right, so that's what I would be looking for on these writing in exponential forms. You're just doing the swirl each time. Well, the next part, you're going to undo the swirl. All right, you're going to write it in exponential form. So you're going from the right to the left. All right, so look at your similarities. The base is the easiest thing to figure out. So you go log base. So what's the base here? The base is a 3. The answer on the right becomes the on the left over here. So log base 3 of 81, the power is your answer here, okay, equals 4. On 8, we undo the swirl. We say log, what's the base of our log? It's the 8. What's the answer? It's a 1, and the power is a 0. Number 9, log base 10, I don't have to write the 10, it's understood. Base 10 of 1 over 100, equals negative 2. That power becomes your answer on each one. Number 10, log base 4 of the 64 is 3. 3 is my answer. Here, log base, six, log base 16 of x equals 2 thirds power. And that is a power, and we'll explain that more tomorrow. 12, the log base 3 of what 81 is again the power goes in the air is x. All right, so you just kind of have to rearrange your thinking a little um, to get these in the correct form. But that's all you're going to do today is rewrite them as exponents or rewrite them as logarithms. Okay, I'm not going to give you a sample problem today. We'll talk about this more in class.